Thousands of service members leave the armed forces each year, and many of them are seeking new career opportunities. The United States Department of Agriculture is stepping up to help. Farming and agriculture is a lifestyle just like military is a lifestyle. There are multiple programs that assist beginning farmers and ranchers not only getting started, but to grow and thrive, manage the risk, and help build critical stewardship of their resources. There's both a huge need and a huge opportunity for the next generation of farmers and ranchers to come and be a part of growing the future. Veterans in particular have the skill set and work ethic that is directly at the heart of what it takes to make a good farmer or rancher. Farmers like Navy veteran Lenny Miles Jr. carry the responsibility for growing food, which he does on his family farm with his father and grandfather. If you're interested in owning or operating a farm, Lenny has this to say. It's endless possibilities of where you could go as a career in agriculture or farming and you just feel responsible to present good product for consumers and compelled to take care of the land. Farmers and ranchers understand that the land is a resource to be protected and enhanced. Lenny uses farm loans from USDA's Farm Service Agency and participates in the Conservation Reserve Program and the Conservation Reserve Enhancement Program to improve wildlife habitat and erosion control. So with the CRP and CREP programs, we take traditionally unproductive land out of farming production and put into conservation. It's important to be a good steward of land and be a responsible farmer. But Lenny isn't alone. Other farmers have taken up the reins as farmers. They come from occupations you wouldn't necessarily expect. Tom and Anita Roberson both served in the Army a combined 34 years in the medical field. Tom worked in private practice for several years before leaving the medical field for a new kind of field. As beginning farmers, the couple then worked on their passion in farming, and not too long after, they were operating their own farm. If you want to get into farming, the only excuse that you have is yourself, because the resources are there. The government, USDA, has plenty of resources. Those resources help farmers with getting started and operating the day-to-day. -day. But Anita stresses, you have to be ready before you start. The first thing you want to do is have a business plan. You have to have a starting point and know what you want to shoot for. Farmers and ranchers are part of the small business fabric of America. The USDA has teamed up with SCORE, a nonprofit resource partner of the Small Business Administration, to connect farmers, ranchers, and other small business owners with free business mentors. The Small Farm Outreach Program, they have a wonderful beginning farmer and rancher program well, they'll take you through all the steps. Those mentors can help you with your business plan and establish good foundations for your business. There's a place for you in agriculture, and USDA is here to be your partner in this exciting new adventure. Some have already answered the call. Come talk to us today.